If you're a residential real estate agent earning $200,000 a year and you want to grow your passive income, this show's for you. Learn the secrets other agents use and hear from experts in our field in order to guide you along your journey to investing in assets like apartment communities so that you can turn your commissions into cash flow. I'm Randall DeCleared. Let's go, baby. All right, welcome back. Um, we are mid January 2024. Just wanted to catch up, kind of tell you uh, what we are working on, and also go over some of the market conditions that we're seeing right now in the multifamily space and why we think it is going to be a good year to actually acquire some things. So, some uh, updates what we're working on. Uh, we are currently looking for a lot of single family properties because we launched the crowdfund and we are taking down properties. Um, and then wrap or owner financing those. And so if you are looking for an investment opportunity and you want to earn up to 10% annually on your investment, um, it's a relatively straightforward uh, crowdfund. And we'll put the, the link in the show notes so you can take a look at that and see what we're doing. Super easy to get involved and uh, it's a relatively straightforward type of investment. Super easy to understand. So um, check that out in the show notes. Also what we're doing, uh, we're launching and we're in legal right now. I've been talking about it for a minute. I think we're done with all the legal, but we've just been caught up on the uh, crowdfund deal and the acquisition that we're doing here in San Antonio. So uh, we have a family fund as well, uh, larger fund targeting uh, 150 unit uh, 1980s or, or newer type properties in the Texas market. And so we're going to start working on that. And if you're interested in, in learning more about that, please hit me up. My contact information you can reach is podcast at agentsbuildingcashflow.com. So now let me explain why we're launching that and why we're excited for that this year. Um, really what it is, the the market right now, and, and I've had a number of conversations with brokers, constantly looking at deals, underwriting deals, and looking to see what is happening. The last two years, it's been very, very difficult to find a deal that makes sense on paper to meet the seller where the seller needs to be in order to be made whole. Um, what's happening now is everybody... Not everybody, but uh, many of the deals that were acquired in 21, uh, 22, even 2020, put on three-year rate caps where their adjustable rate was going to be capped for you know three years. Those are now coming due. The rate caps are expiring, and you either need to pay for those rate caps, which means you're going to have to go and raise a bunch of money or, or put more money because it's essentially prepaid interest. So you got to go back to your investors to do that, or you have to do most likely a cash in refinance, which means because the rates are higher, you have a higher debt service, which means your loan amount is going to be lower because the property is probably not going to support a higher rate. So when you refinance out of a short-term adjustable rate loan and you end up going to a higher rate, your loan proceeds are going to be lower than you were hoping for. And therefore you're going to have a cash and refi. So it's a, called a capital call. You go to your investors and you say, hey, we need 1 million. We need 2 million. We need however much money it is in order to get out of this loan that we're in so that we can continue our business plan with the property and get to a, a point where it's more profitable for us to sell. So that is the challenge that operators are facing right now in this environment. And so for us, it's an opportune time to have a fund and a pool of capital put together so that we can go and acquire some of these distressed assets that are becoming distressed. The theory is, and the thesis is, that uh, there's going to be quite a bit of limited partner equity that's going to be removed from the, the game board, essentially, right now. So you've got, you, you have this um, situation right now where rents are being challenged, and, and I've talked about this a bit as well. There was a oversupply, maybe... Uh, not necessarily an oversupply, but a, a a massive amount of new supply coming on onto the market for rental properties and apartments. And you've probably seen this in your area. You see new construction. You see a lot of apartments going up. And there is a demand for that. We need that housing. But there was so much of it that was brought on all at the same time. Everybody's looking for these higher rents. That one, it's driving rents down. Couple that with an economy that's challenged and consumers that have overspent. And so one thing that I've been watching and, and keeping track of is uh, consumer debt and the amount of uh, consumer debt that that we have currently. It's, it's I think, at an all-time high as well. 
and so that's going to make it challenging if there is even more of a correction in the economy where rates don't come down, inflation continues to rise, where rents are going to have to fall to stay full, right? I've seen apartments across um, multiple states and multiple offerings where there is a reduction in the rental rate. So in 2020, 2021, 22, a lot of people were underwriting rent growth at 12% per year, 15% per year, just to get the deal. That never made sense to me. That doesn't make a ton of sense to, it's unsustainable. So we didn't buy anything just because it was, that. that's no way to conservatively underwrite a deal. So anyway, all of that said, now that puts us in a position where these properties that were bought by either new investors or um, syndicators who were going out raising capital and it looked like you could just make money just by being in real estate, that is not proving to be the case. And uh, those properties, and unfortunately, the limited partner equity in those those deals is that they're at risk. And so, yes, we are raising the money in order to go and actually acquire those types of deals uh, because we feel there's going to be a pricing correction and it's going to be a good time to buy. The deal that we are buying right now, the one in San Antonio, I mean, it's it's a $50,000 per door uh, purchase price and um, and the rents can still be increased to the to the current area in the market. The management just hasn't hasn't run it well. So those opportunities still exist and they're still there. But the 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 buyer of the the, the current owner of that property, uh, I believe they had a loan at one point five. So they're selling it at a loss to get out of it, and we're buying it at the the price that makes sense to operate the deal. So um, we feel that's going to happen more and more and more. So. Again, if you want to check that out and you want to know more about the multifamily investment opportunity that we have, um, again, send me an email, podcast at agentsbuildingcashflow.com. I'm um, happy to chat with you, get on a call and discuss and kind of uh, figure out if it's a fit for you or not. That is a 506C, so it's going to be accredited investors only uh, being able to join that. The crowdfund is a, it's open to all investors, minimum investment is $10,000. So those are some of the things that we're working on. And I just want to share that, that um, that's why we're doing those two funds. So if you are um, a realtor, you are a wholesaler, you are an investor of some kind, and you've got property in the San Antonio, Texas, uh, uh, Texas market wide, we are buying, we are buyers. So definitely hit us up on that as well. And um, if you have any questions, you want to chat, I'm always here. Podcast at Agent Building Cashflow. Until next time, have a great weekend. Did you know that 80% of the agents we speak with got into real estate in order to gain passive income so they could obtain financial freedom and become work optional? If you want to stay up to date, the best way is to make sure you're subscribed. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do it now. We'll catch you on the next episode.